As a lot of you have seen lately, I've been traveling to and eating at a lot of gas stations and some truck stops from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to Cleveland, Ohio, and even here in Ontario, Canada. But for this week's video, I wanted to actually hang out for a full day at a truck stop slash restaurant and try their breakfast and lunch menus to see what they have to offer for the truck drivers of North America. We made it to Flying J Truck Stops and there's a diner here called Golden Harvest. It looks like they have a full breakfast menu, full lunch and dinner menu. It is open 24 hours. They have an all day breakfast, but uh, I looked at their all day breakfast and it looked like possibly they don't serve uh, certain breakfast all day, like the Eggs Benedict and they have a Canadian Eggs Benedict here. I wanna give it a shot. Uh, and then we'll check around and look around this truck stop and see what they got. Looks like they've got pretty much everything. They got the truck gas station part, they've got car gas station part, scales, and I can kind of see in the front window here, and it looks like they got a lot of like uh, truckers gear that they will need, possibly lights, radios, and all that kind of stuff. So let's go in there, grab food first, and then we'll walk around this truck stop and see what it looks like. How are you doing? Good, not too bad. Excellent. Can I start with a small orange juice and a coffee, please? Thank you. All right, guys, check this out. Here's their menu. Golden Harvest Diner breakfast menu. We'll be back for lunch for sure. Uh, looks like they have breakfast specials. Classic breakfast. We've got egg skillets. Eggs Benedict, we'll be doing the Canadian Eggs Benedict for sure. And then omelets, breakfast wraps, pancakes and waffles. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would pick for breakfast. See if there's anything on the back. Oh, even more food, sandwiches, sides. Nice, got our orange juice. Cheers. Got our uh, the Canadian Eggs Benedict would be fantastic. Awesome, perfect. Thank you. Okay, it's got a knife and fork, throw a package of sugar, a whole thing of creams. Uh, and we even have trivial pursuit cards to pass the time. Here's one for you guys. How many spaces are there on a Scrabble board? I'll tell you at the end of the video. Comment below. One cream, two cream, one sugar. Let's check out Flying J coffee. It's not too strong, which is good. But it's not weak either. Truck drivers would love that. All right, guys, my food is here. It looks amazing. It smells great. Let's go in for a close up. All right, guys, there's my eggs, Benedict. We got the home fries, and they look golden brown. There's our hollandaise sauce. What makes this a Canadian eggs pandig is the fact they're using Canadian bacon, pea bacon on the bottom. So we've got a an English muffin. Then we've got our back bacon, a poached egg, and then hollandaise sauce. I always put a little salt on it, just a little bit. Definitely a lot of pepper. I love pepper on my eggs. They gave me a nice knife, so I don't have to use this one. This will be easier to cut through this food. All right, let's just do one of these first. I'll put ketchup on it. Later on. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, and it's runny. It's not as runny as I like it, but 
that'll do. Yeah, that's perfect. Look how runny that is. It needs to run all over the place. That makes the eggs Benedict right there. I know some of you guys don't like runny eggs, but this has to be runnier than this. This is almost, almost too cooked, but it'll have to do. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. We've got the runny egg, we've got the back bacon, and we've got the English muffin perfectly toasted. Mm. Chances are they don't make their own hollandaise sauce, but whatever they're using, it's pretty good. Sometimes it's fun to put a bit of your hollandaise sauce on your uh, potatoes. Mmm. Check that out. Oh yeah. Is that making you guys hungry or what? Perfect breakfast. And the truckers in this area, with a pass through here, that's why the uh, parking lot's full. I'm glad I missed the breakfast rush. Uh, but it's now getting to lunchtime, so. I'm getting busy. Let's cut into that one right there. Turn it a little bit. Do like a little bit of a pie. Not as much. We'll get some of that yolk on there. We need some of that yolk. Put the yolk on there. Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. When hollandaise sauce is made from scratch, it definitely is better. But some of these pre-made hollandaise sauces, they're not bad. If you'd like to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what your favorite breakfast is, I'll read them all, but this is my favorite. Mm. And of course the Waffle House is up there in the top three. Which is in the top three for sure. You gotta like make sure you get as much of that hollandaise sauce on the last few. You don't wanna waste it. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh ho ho. Get that right there. Scoop it up. Mm. Last bite, then it's just home fries. Mm. Mm. There's nothing cooler than hanging out in a truck stop finishing up your breakfast, and then people watching while you have your coffee. There's nothing like it. Can I get a container for this? And uh, I'll do the bill to you, please. Super friendly staff here, people. Great, thank you very much. And I'll do the machine. Move card. There you go. Hey. Would you like a cup of coffee to go? Yes, please. That'd be great, thank you. Well, that was very nice of him. Just before I left, he said, would you like a coffee to go? I'm like, definitely. Look at that, nice. That'll keep me warm while I'm walking around getting you more shots of the truck stop. Okay, while we're here, we'll gas up. Buck 14. walk around and see where some of these trucks are coming from. So we had uh, Manitoba back there, uh, New Brunswick, which is cool, Michigan, of course lots of Ontario. That was another Michigan one with the trucks on it, that's in Ontario. Lots of really cool trucks. I guess the truck that came from the furthest away would be Manitoba and then Michigan. Yeah, a lot of cool trucks. I talked to a, a, one of the truckers and uh, he's going home tonight. He just came back from a long haul, so that was kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so they have the scales, they have sales, they have, of course, all the guys. I, one of the things I kind of like about truckers is they have their own little community and uh, this, the, the maintenance that they put into their truck and the care 
I saw one of the guys and he was like wiping off the li little lights on his bumper and uh, he's just making sure everything's tip top and safe for the road. Uh, just wanting to be safe for himself and everybody else around him, which is very cool. I appreciate the time and uh, care these truck drivers put into their jobs. Good job. All right, it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go back into the Golden Harvest Diner and uh, see what they got for lunch. For a drink, I guess uh, there's a Pepsi or a Coke. Pepsi? Yeah, okay. thanks. All right, let's check out their uh, lunch and dinner menu. Oh, I got soups, uh, steak. They had seafood on here too. I saw on their website that seafood. Oh, there it is, seafood. They have English style fish and chips, Atlantic salmon, burgers, sandwiches. What I saw on there was this country style schnitzel, our famous schn wiener schnitzel topped with uh, smoked ham and Swiss cheese, $16.95. They also have like chicken parmesan, and meat lasagna, traditional spaghetti, lots of home style type meals. No wonder truckers come here all the time. Here's a and I know what I want already. What you like? This uh, country style schnitzel, it looks yeah. amazing. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, choice of potatoes, french uh, fries, mashed, roasted, or baked. Uh, let's go roasted, please. Roasted, yeah. yeah. And then super salad to salad. Let's do salad. Dressing, French, ranch, Italian, pasta, balsamo, blue cheese. The salmon. Fantastic, thank you. All right, the salad came. Uh, we got the salad dressing and the little plastic thing. So we got lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots. And that's pretty much it. We'll put our balsamic on. What's your favorite dressing? Leave a comment. I'm not a huge cucumber fan. Apparently that's where pickles come from. <laughs> I'm starting to like pickles now. Hmm. Red pepper. Look at all that juicy salad dressing. Let's get a little bit of that cucumber. Lettuce. Got a little tomato on there. Mm-hmm. Green pepper. Cucumbers by themselves, I don't like them. When you mix it with a bunch of stuff, it's good. Just like sushi. And I don't mind it there. Just don't like it by itself. All done. It was good. Next trivia question for you. Thank you very much, sir. That looks great. Anything else I know for now? That's it, thanks. What was Al Capone's nickname? Answer at the end of the video. All right, my dinner's here. Let's do a close up. We've got peas, carrots, corn. We got some butter for those. There's our schnitzel. We've got two slices of ham on top of our schnitzel with our cheese. A little bit of parsley for color. Cheers. Again with a knife. Nice. Guess we'll start with putting a bit of butter. Oh, it's nice and melted now because it's right up against the meat. That's a good, that's a good thing to do. A little bit of butter on your veggies. Ooh, look at that. I can just drizzle it on. Yeah, let's see if we can cut a little bit of this. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nice. Perfectly breaded, nice and juicy. Mm. Holy smoke, I thought it was two pizzas. It's one big schnitzel. Let's see if we can get some of the ham and cheese. Mmm. Do you guys love schnitzel? It's one of my favorite meals of all time too. I've never had this before. And a little bit of ham and the cheese completely changes it. I usually get, when I get schnitzel, I usually get a, almost a half lemon and just squeeze half lemon all over. I wouldn't want to do that with the cheese on it though. That would probably kill it. But this is completely different. Not bad. Let's see how well done these potatoes are. Oh yeah, just perfect. Again, sometimes way better than fries, especially with this kind of a dinner. I'm still kind of full from lunch. I'm gonna have to take half of this home. 
It's still really hot. Wow. I normally order like a beer with this kind of a meal, but I got some driving to do. No beer, just pop. These look like frozen veggies. Doesn't look like they cut them themselves. That's all right. <laughs> I'd have the same thing at home, so this piece looks really juicy. Mm-hmm. And when you're on long hauls away from your family, it'd be really nice to eat this as opposed to fast food every day for sure. Mm. Once again, I'm going to have to pack this stuff up because it's just way too much for me to eat right now. I'll probably eat the rest later. Truckers need a place to shower. I guess they pay for it yeah. uh, at the front and then they give them a code. Yeah. And how much but time do they have? Some of them get free showers. Oh, right, because if they gas up, right. Because they fuel here. Right. Is it have to put a specific amount of fuel in or? Yeah, it's usually diesel on the commercial funds. But a certain amount though, right? Like a certain well, price? Well, they get shower power of 1,000 gallons or something like that. Ah, uh, okay. It's a huge truck. So, so. they got a toilet, shower, so big fan. Towels. To dry off. Towels. And then how much time do they get in there? I guess however right. long they need. We will check if somebody's in there for too long just to make sure everything's okay. That they're not yeah. falling or something. <laughs> well, thank you very much for showing me. I appreciate that. No problem. I had a very good day here today at the truck stop. I just wanted to let you guys know next week I'm going to be flying to Iowa to do the Iowa 80 truck stop. It's supposed to be the biggest truck stop in the world. I just actually talked to two people in here who overheard me talking to the waiter and uh, they're actually have been there many times and they said the buffet is awesome. So if you enjoy these videos and you don't want to miss that one especially, hit that subscribe button here somewhere on this page. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up and I would appreciate that. Thank you. And the answer is 225. Al Capone's nickname was Scarface. <laughs>